The object changed direction, not gradually, not predictably, not in any way that our models, our simulations, or our understanding of celestial mechanics could explain. 3i Atlas, a visitor from beyond our solar system, a wanderer through the cosmic void, just broke its own trajectory. And right now, at this very moment, scientists across the world are staring at their screens in silence, unable to speak, unable to rationalize what they're witnessing. Before we go any further, I need you to do something. Comment your city name below. Tell us if you've noticed anything unusual in the night sky over the past few weeks. Anything at all. NASA has been quietly collecting reports, and what they're finding is deeply unsettling. We need to know where you are. We need to know what you've seen. My name is Michio Kaku, and what I'm about to share may change the way you see humanity's place in the universe. I've spent my entire life studying the laws that govern reality, the equations that describe how stars are born, how galaxies collide, how light bends around the fabric of space-time itself. I've always believed that the universe, no matter how strange, operates on principles we can decode. That chaos is just order we haven't understood yet. But 3i Atlas has shattered that belief. It has done something that should not be possible. And the silence from the scientific community is not one of ignorance, it's one of fear. Let me take you back to when we first discovered it. It was 2024 early autumn when the Atlas Survey Telescope in Hawaii detected a faint smudge moving against the star field. At first, we thought it was another comet. We've seen thousands of them. Icy bodies from the Oort cloud tumbling inward toward the sun, glowing brilliantly as they evaporate into the void. But the trajectory was wrong, the speed was wrong, and within days we realized something extraordinary. This object had come from interstellar space. 3i Atlas became only the third known visitor from beyond our solar system. The first was Oumuamua in 2017 that strange elongated object that accelerated without any visible outgassing, defying explanation. The second was Borisov in 2019, a comet that behaved more predictably, more naturally. And now, 3i Atlas, a cosmic messenger arriving from the galactic deep, carrying with it the fingerprints of another star system, another region of space where the laws might be different. We tracked it. We measured it. We built models to predict its path through our solar system. And for months, everything made sense. It was following a hyperbolic trajectory, the signature of an interstellar object passing through, never to return. It would swing past the sun, gain speed from the gravitational assist, and disappear back into the darkness between the stars. That's what should have happened. That's what every equation, every simulation, every physicist on Earth expected. But then, three weeks ago, it changed course. Not by a fraction of a degree. Not by some minor perturbation caused by outgassing or solar wind. It shifted its trajectory by nearly seven degrees. In astronomical terms, that is catastrophic. That is impossible. Objects moving at interstellar velocities don't just turn. They don't decide to go somewhere else. They follow the laws of motion, the gravitational pull of massive bodies, the invisible hand of physics that has governed the cosmos for 14 billion years, but 3i Atlas didn't care. It moved deliberately, intentionally, as if it were being guided. I remember the moment I first saw the data. I was in my office late at night reviewing the latest observations sent over from the European Space Agency. The trajectory plot appeared on my screen. A clean, predictable arc suddenly breaking into something else, something angular. I thought it was an error, a glitch in the software. I recalculated. I checked the source data. I called colleagues in Tokyo, in Berlin, in Pasadena. They had all seen the same thing, and none of us could explain it. The room felt colder after that, not physically, but intellectually, emotionally. Because when you spend your life believing in the order of the universe, and then the universe does something that defies that order, you begin to question everything. You begin to wonder if we've been living inside a a cosmic illusion, thinking we understood the rules, when in reality, we were just children playing in a sandbox, unaware of the machinery operating just beyond our sight. NASA convened an emergency session, not public, not announced, just a closed meeting of the top minds in astrophysics, astrodynamics, and planetary defense. Yes, planetary defense. Because if an object from interstellar space can alter its trajectory without any natural cause, then it is no longer just an anomaly. It is a potential threat. Or worse, it is a signal, a message, a probe sent by something that knows we're here.
I sat in that virtual conference room, watching faces I've known for decades struggle to articulate what we were all thinking but none of us wanted to say. One scientist from MIT proposed it could be a previously unknown form of outgassing. Volatile materials inside the object reacting to solar radiation, creating thrust. But the math didn't support it. The acceleration profile was too clean, too controlled. Another suggested a collision with dark matter, some invisible interaction we don't yet understand. But that too fell apart under scrutiny. Dark matter doesn't work that way. It doesn't push. It doesn't steer. And then someone said it. The word we'd all been avoiding. The word that changes everything. Artificial. The silence that followed was suffocating. Because once you say that word, once you allow yourself to consider that 3i Atlas might not be a natural object, you open a door that can never be closed. You invite into your worldview the possibility that we are not alone, that we have never been alone, that something out there somewhere in the vast galactic expanse has been watching, waiting, and now for reasons we cannot fathom, it has sent something into our solar system, something that can move, something that can think, Think. I want to be clear. I am a scientist. I deal in evidence, in data, in reproducible results. I do not jump to conclusions. I do not embrace wild speculation without cause. But what we are seeing with 3i Atlas is not speculation. It is observation. It is fact. The object changed its trajectory in a way that cannot be explained by natural forces. And if it is not natural, then it must be something else. And that something else terrifies me more than I can express. Because if 3i Atlas is artificial, if it is a probe or a vessel or some form of alien technology, then its trajectory change was not random. It was a choice. It was a decision made by an intelligence so far beyond our comprehension that it could send an object across light years of space, navigating the gravitational chaos of the Milky Way, only to arrive here in our solar system and alter its path at precisely the moment we were watching. Why now? Why us? What does it want? I've spent sleepless nights running through the possibilities. Perhaps it detected our radio transmissions, the electromagnetic noise we've been leaking into space for over a century. Perhaps it sensed our nuclear detonations, the sudden bursts of gamma radiation that marked our entry into the atomic age. Or perhaps it has been here all along, dormant, waiting for us to reach a certain threshold of technological development before revealing itself, before making contact, or before doing something far worse. There's a theory in astrobiology called the Great Filter. It suggests that somewhere between the emergence of life and the creation of advanced, spacefaring civilizations, there exists a barrier, a filter that most species cannot pass through. Some believe the filter is behind us, that we've already survived the hardest part. But others, the more pessimistic among us, believe the filter is still ahead, that there is something waiting in the cosmic darkness, something that prevents civilizations from reaching the stars. And when I look at the trajectory of 3i Atlas, when I see it deviating from its path as if responding to our presence, I can't help but wonder, have we just triggered the filter? What if 3i Atlas is not here to communicate? What if it is here to observe, to catalog, to assess whether humanity has become a threat to the galactic community? What if there are rules out there, cosmic laws enforced by beings we cannot imagine, and we have just crossed a line we didn't even know existed? I know how this sounds. I know the instinct is to dismiss these ideas as science fiction, as the ramblings of someone who has watched too many movies, read too many novels. But I assure you, the scientists analyzing this data are not science fiction enthusiasts. They are rigorous, skeptical, conservative thinkers who have built their careers on empirical evidence. And they are scared, not publicly, not in press releases or interviews, but in private conversations, in encrypted emails, in the quiet moments when we think no one is listening, they are terrified because the implications go far beyond 3i Atlas itself. If this object is artificial, then it means extraterrestrial intelligence is real. It means they have technology capable of interstellar travel. It means they know where we are, and it means they are doing something about it. For decades, we've searched the skies for signals, for radio transmissions, for some sign that we are not alone in the universe. We built the SETI program. We sent out the Arecibo message in 1974, a broadcast into space containing information about humanity, our biology, our location. We attached golden records to the Voyager probes filled with images and sounds of Earth, 
hoping that someday, millions of years from now, an alien civilization might find them and know that we existed. We've been shouting into the void, desperate for an answer. But what if the answer is not a message? What if it's an object? What if first contact is not a friendly transmission but a silent visitation? A probe that arrives without warning, changes course without explanation, and continues on its way, leaving us to wonder what it saw, what it learned, and what it will do next. There's another possibility I haven't mentioned yet, one that's even more disturbing. What if 3i Atlas is not the first? What if our solar system has been visited before, countless times, by objects we never detected, never recognized as artificial? What if the universe is teeming with these probes, sent out by ancient civilizations millions of years ago, drifting through the galaxy, monitoring, recording, reporting back to intelligences that may no longer even exist? We've always assumed that space is empty, that the vast distances between stars make exploration impossible, that the speed of light is an insurmountable barrier. But what if we're wrong? What if advanced civilizations don't travel themselves but send their machines instead? Self-replicating probes that can journey for millennia, exploring every star system, every planet, every sign of life. What if 3i Atlas is just one node in a galactic network, a cosmic internet of surveillance and knowledge, and we've only just now noticed it because it chose to reveal itself? The trajectory change could be a message in itself, a signal to other probes, to the civilization that created it, saying, I found something intelligent life, technologically active, worthy of attention. And if that's true, then we are no longer hidden. We are no longer safe in our obscurity. We have been seen. I think about the Fermi paradox often. The question Enrico Fermi posed in 1950, if the universe is so vast, if there are billions of stars and trillions of planets, where is everybody? Why haven't we seen evidence of alien civilizations? Why is the cosmos so silent? Maybe it's not silent. Maybe we've just been looking in the wrong places, listening for the wrong signals. Maybe the evidence is right in front of us, hurtling through space at 70 kilometers per second, and we only noticed it when it decided to break the rules. There's a concept in game theory called the dark forest hypothesis. It suggests that the universe is like a dark forest filled with hunters. Every civilization is a predator and prey simultaneously, hiding in the shadows, afraid to reveal their location because to do so invites destruction. In this model, silence is survival. Broadcasting your presence is suicide, and any civilization that detects another must make a choice. Ignore it, study it, or eliminate it before it becomes a threat. If 3i Atlas is part of that dynamic, if it is a scout sent by a civilization operating under dark forest logic, then its trajectory change is not a greeting. It's a targeting solution. I don't want to believe that. I want to believe in the optimistic vision of the cosmos, where intelligent species work together, share knowledge, build something greater than themselves. I want to believe that first contact will be peaceful, enlightening, transformative. But the universe has never cared what we want. It operates on its own terms, indifferent to our hopes and fears. And right now, 3i Atlas is operating on terms we do not understand. NASA has quietly increased funding for near-Earth object tracking, not because they think 3i Atlas will come back, but because they now know that objects can change course, that the sky is not as predictable as we thought, that something out there has the capability and the intent to navigate our solar system in ways we cannot anticipate. There are contingency plans being drafted, protocols for communication attempts, for observation strategies, for planetary defense scenarios. But how do you defend against something that can travel between the stars? How do you communicate with an intelligence that may be billions of years more advanced than you? How do you even begin to prepare for contact when you don't know if contact will be a conversation or an extinction event? I think about humanity's place in all of this. We're so young. Our species has only existed for a few hundred thousand years. Our civilization, the one built on cities and agriculture and technology, is only about 10,000 years old. We've been broadcasting radio signals for just over a century. We've been exploring space for less than 70 years. We are infants in cosmic terms, babies screaming in the dark, hoping someone will hear us, not considering that the wrong someone might answer. And yet, We've accomplished so much. 
We've decoded the structure of DNA. We've split the atom. We've sent machines to the edge of the solar system and beyond. We've looked back in time to the birth of the universe and forward to its ultimate fate. We've created art, music, literature, philosophy. We've asked the deepest questions about existence, consciousness, meaning. We are flawed, violent, short-sighted, but we are also capable of astonishing beauty and insight. Does 3i Atlas see that? Does whatever intelligence sent it recognize the potential in humanity, or does it only see the danger? Do they know that we've waged countless wars, built weapons, capable of destroying ourselves, poisoned our own planet in the pursuit of progress? Or do they see beyond that, to the moments of compassion, of sacrifice, of love that define us just as much as our destructive tendencies? I don't know. And that uncertainty is perhaps the most frightening part of all this. Because we are being judged, observed, evaluated by something we cannot see, cannot understand, cannot communicate with. And we have no idea what criteria it's using. We have no idea if we've already failed the test. The data continues to come in. 3i Atlas is moving away from the inner solar system now, heading back toward the outer reaches, toward the heliopause and beyond. Soon, it will cross the boundary where the sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins. And then it will be gone, swallowed by the darkness, carrying with it whatever information it gathered during its passage through our cosmic neighborhood. But I don't think this is the end. I think it's the beginning. I think 3i Atlas was a reconnaissance mission, a preliminary survey. And depending on what it reports back, depending on what its creators decide about us, there may be others coming. More probes, more visitors, or something far more direct. We stand at a threshold. Humanity has reached the point where we can no longer pretend we are alone, where we can no longer ignore the possibility that the universe is watching. The question is no longer whether extraterrestrial intelligence exists. The question is what they want from us, what they think of us, and what they plan to do next. I've dedicated my life to understanding the universe, to peeling back the layers of reality and revealing the elegant mathematics beneath. But 3i Atlas has reminded me that there are some mysteries we may never solve, some questions we may never answer. And perhaps that's the point. Perhaps the universe is meant to remain mysterious, to remain just beyond our grasp, humbling us, reminding us that for all our knowledge and technology, we are still small, still fragile, still subject to forces we cannot control. So I ask you now, as you sit there, wherever you are in the world, under the same sky that 3i Atlas passed through, under the same stars that may harbor the civilization that sent it. What do you think is out there? What do you think they want? And are we ready for the answer? Follow this channel as we continue decoding the universe's final warnings. Because 3i Atlas may have been the first message, but I don't believe it will be the last. And when the next one arrives, when the sky shifts again in ways we cannot predict, we need to be watching. We need to be ready. We need to understand that our time as the only intelligence in our corner of the galaxy may be coming to an end. And that changes everything.